Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Tied Then Loosed. Beloved family, our text says, And he said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and as soon as you have entered it, you will find a coat tied, on which no one has sat. Loose it and bring it. And if anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it. And immediately he will send it here. So they went their way and found a coat tied by the door outside on the street, and they loosed it. But some of those who stood there said to them, What are you doing loosing the coat? And they spoke to them just as Jesus had commanded, so they let them go. Mark 11, 2-6 King Jesus and his disciples had just arrived near Jerusalem. He commands two of them to go into the village and they will find a coat tied. Now, we don't know much about this coat, how long he was tied or what his purpose was prior to the word from Christ. But we do know that he was young and was not touched or broken in by the world. And we know that King Jesus knew where it was, how it was, and why it was. He knew this condition, that it was tied up, and he knew its purpose, why it was created. This passage today is loaded with revelation and the word of God. And he called the twelve to himself and began to send them out two by two and gave them power over unclean spirits. So they went out and preached that people should repent. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. Mark 6, 7 to 13. Ah, I told you that this is pregnant with Christ. The text says he sent two of them to find a coat and untie it or loose it. Our Lord Jesus Christ wants you and I to go into the world and to find those that are tied and bound. Tied up in circumstances of life. Tied up with everything else but God. Others are tied up in relationships that are unfruitful to the kingdom. Others may be bound by the world and its sinful desires. Some may be physically bound in prison, but God wants to loose and give freedom first spiritually. The wise teacher says foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction will drive it far from them. Proverbs 22:15. Listen, when we are babes in Christ, we are considered children in the word or in the faith. The rod of correction, which is God's trials, his testing, will drive the foolishness still bound up in our hearts. As the disciples did, men may be able to free someone or something that is tied up like the coat was. But we need faith in King Jesus Christ to loose those who have been bound Oh, hear me today. Truly, I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Matthew 18, 18. Now, I must confess, if it was me and I was King Jesus, I would probably send for a stallion, a great magnificent horse to triumphantly ride on. And if we are honest, we want the best chariot as the kings of the world used. Maybe today it's that luxury vehicle that Bentley or Rolls Royce we desire and most naturally will prefer to ride in luxury. We want to announce our arrival by stepping out of a limo, not a pinto. But look at the humility of our God. Our Lord Jesus Christ called not for the stallion, but for the coat. See, he understood something that men don't. Whatever King Jesus wrote and entered on, it became Royal. The coat didn't make Christ. Christ made the coat. He was tied, but now he's loosed. He was bound, but now he's free to fulfill his purpose. 
Donkeys are known for carrying heavy burdens, but this coat is now carrying the one who says, come to me, all who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Put on my yoke and learn of me. I'm gentle and humble, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy to bear, and my burden is light. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Our Lord Jesus Christ unties those who are bound, and he knows what others will say about our condition. He told his disciples, they will ask you, what are you doing? Or why are you untying this coat? Ah, this blessed me. King Jesus says, because I have need of it. Okay, you just missed your place to bless God. For God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son, so that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them the right standing with himself. And having given them right standing, he gave them his glory. Romans 8, 29 to 30. I am so excited by this word this morning. I know you can hear me, but I can't hear you blessing God. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do for his good pleasure. Philippians 2.13 God calls us for his purpose and his good pleasure to fulfill that which we were created to do. See, others will talk about you and some even secretly celebrate when you are tied up in mess. But when God is untying you, they question, why is he being untied? Your response should be, because the Lord needs me. I know I'm speaking to me this morning. I pray this word speaks to you as well. Let's declare together, God, untie me from this circumstance. Untie me from these problems in my life. Untie me from the accusers that lie on me. Untie my loved ones, Lord. Confess and believe with me today. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Much love.